Hi, and welcome to my channel, Shades of Sage, where I discuss all things motherhood. My name is Tashima. I am a doula and mom of three, and I'm currently expecting my fourth child. Now, today's video is going to be all about how to sleep comfortably while you are pregnant. If you have been pregnant before or if you are currently pregnant, you may understand the struggle of trying to get a good night's sleep and just really getting comfortable in the bed, especially as your body is changing and as your belly is growing. So today I want to go over some comfortable positions, some safe positions for moms to sleep in while they are pregnant. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the best way or the safest position to sleep in while you're pregnant is laying on your side. And it's actually recommended that you sleep on your left side because that gives the baby the most blood flow. So, so far this pregnancy, that has been the most comfortable position for me. I will include some pictures and some videos and clips of how I like to sleep in bed. So I like to have something behind me. I like to have a pillow behind me. I like to have a pillow in front of me. And then I also like to have something in between my legs to kind of keep my hips propped up so that they don't sink down and collapse while I I am laying on my side normally when I'm not pregnant I am a stomach sleeper I love sleeping on my stomach and that's the way that I slept mostly not pregnant so you can sleep on your stomach if you are in your first trimester it is okay to sleep on your stomach but as your belly gets bigger it gets a little bit more uncomfortable but you can sleep on your stomach as long as you are comfortable you won't smush the baby but side laying is the best position to sleep in and most women find this position comfortable. So I personally don't sleep with the pillow underneath my head. I know some people do, but I don't use one. So like I said, one behind me, one in front of me, like I kind of pop my belly up on it and I will show you in the clips what I'm talking about. But my belly's a little bit laying on the pillow, not all the way on the pillow, just kind of elevating my belly a little bit and then one between my legs. That really helps with like the lower back pain that you may be experiencing throughout the day and just the pressure and everything like that. Of course, you can use your partner as a pillow instead. If you're one of those couples that likes to cuddle up, that is great. Also can buy a pregnancy pillow. Now I did have a pregnancy pillow for all three of my other pregnancies actually. And I do still have one, but I was just so lazy. I did not want to pull it out. I did not want to wash everything and put the pillowcase back on. It's just such a hassle. So, so I'm forgoing the pregnancy pillow this time, but I definitely do recommend it because it did help me a lot with my other three pregnancies while sleeping. So the one that I have is a big boppy pillow and I will insert a picture of what I'm talking about, but it's like a big C. Um, and I would rest my head on one side of the pillow and then the other side would be wrapped around my back and then the bottom part of the pillow would be in between my legs. And then when I would turn to the other side, I would have a pillow behind my back. So just a regular pillow that you would put your head on behind my back. And then the C-shaped um, pregnancy pillow would be underneath my head again in front of my belly and in between my legs. So that's the best way and the most comfortable way that I found sleeping while pregnant. You also can buy a pregnancy wedge and I will include that also what I'm talking about if you've never seen that before. But this is, it's a little wedge. Like it's made out of like styrofoam, really soft material. And you can put that underneath your belly too. I find that when you just elevate your belly a little bit it helps you to I don't know feel more comfortable feel a little bit more secure and if you also feel like that definitely leave in the comment below let me know if I'm not alone and feeling that way but I definitely need something like underneath my stomach or touching my stomach while I'm pregnant while I'm trying to sleep so the last thing that I want to mention for this video is it is not recommended that you sleep on your back throughout your pregnancy. So if you are a back sleeper, and I will be completely honest here, I slept on my back for my last pregnancy pretty much all the way until Labor Day, so. But the reason why, the reason why they say don't sleep on your back during pregnancy is because when you're laying on your back, you put all of that weight, all that pressure of the uterus and the baby on this big vein that runs through your back called the vena cava, and it can reduce blood flow to your baby because that vein carries blood back to your heart from your lower body. So it's best if you can try to sleep on your side, sleep on your stomach, like I said, if you're comfortable, but obviously once you get further along in your pregnancy and once your belly is really big, that won't be too comfortable either. So even if it's just your side back, if you can kind of find a medium, I do do that sometimes as well. So I'll tuck the pillow a little bit more underneath my back so that I'm not laying on my back, and but I'm still on my side, if that makes sense. So yeah, so that's all that I have for today's video. I know, I know that trying to get a good night's sleep while you're pregnant can be really difficult. There's a lot of things that could keep you up during the night while you're pregnant, but hopefully if you find a position that's comfortable for you, hopefully it'll be a little bit more easier for you to get a good restful night's sleep, which is definitely something that you need as a pregnant mama. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Share in the comments with me. 
how you are sleeping or how you did sleep while you were pregnant what really worked for you i know some moms had to sleep totally upright and so that means a lounger or a rocking chair especially at the end of pregnancy where everything just aches and hurts and I totally get it. I understand. So share with me in the comments how it went for you. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, give me a great big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Remember to let your story be your power. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.